suit activated. Maximum gain. and this is my tech video for the Intel HD 530. This video is aimed at users who are not interested in technology and are only supposed to address the most important issues. What should be interesting on the first slide is that the Intel HD 515, HD 520, HD 530 and HDP 530 have the same graphic chip namely named GT2 and this, despite different naming, are equal fast. On the second slide we see why there is nevertheless a difference between the four different names. These can be clocked from 850 to 1150 MHz in 50 MHz steps. Also with the memory speed we have four configuration possibilities of 1333 up to 2133 MHz. However, there is another distinction in memory speed between single channel, normal bandwidth and dual channel, double bandwidth configuration. On the third slice I have summarized the role again and prepared a few examples. As we see, we have 7 different clock options and 8 different memory speeds for the same HPU, HD515, HD530, HD520 and HDP530. The example with the 1050MHz and DDR4-2133 represents my test system with 40FPS. Underneath I have sent an eGPU with only 950 MHz and 1666 MHz RAM speed which loses only 4 FPS what is not so much. The worst case would be an iGPU with 850 MHz and 1333 RAM as a single channel configuration which will lose 10 FPS or more compared to my testing system. A system overclocked at 1300 MHz with 3200 MHz OC memory would then be able to increase almost 9 to 10 FPS compared to my test system. Since each game reacts somewhat different to more chip clock and memory clock, these examples are only seen as a rule basis. I would calculate as a rule of thumb per 50 MHz chip clock 1 FPS plus minus as well as for the wor work memory per 266 MHz 1 FPS plus minus. How the games on the working speed convert you can see a little bit in my videos since I test here with 3 memory speeds. How does this help you in practice? You can see very well that one must pay attention to which video you look at YouTube and how was tested since you cannot compare every HD530 system one on one in the worst case differences of 40% may arise. I have selected here for my test system a configuration which is very well in the middle and thus my settings should be usable to many users. If you are not sure about whatever your system will run well with my settings you can ask me. On the fourth slide I have sent still the multimedia function listed, but these have no influence on the gaming performance at all. On the last slide I have listed you all Skylake processors with their CPU clock as well as iGPU clock and the graphics chip name. As you can see from an extreme example here, the i7-6600U has its CPU with HD520 that clocks with 1050 MHz, while a desktop i5-6400 with HD530 
only clocks with 950 MHz and would be even slightly slower. I say thank you for listening and hope this was understandable enough and I could help one or the other to understand the most important basics. If you enjoyed the video, I would be happy if you liked it and if you do not want to miss my future videos, then subscribe to my channel. If you have further questions, feel free to ask them.